this fast-paced world of technology, where innovation is the lifeblood for progress, semiconductor industry stands as a beacon for continuous advancement. And in this journey towards excellence, Data Lake plays the role of a key ingredient, very similar to that key component, that, that key ingredient that makes up your favorite dish. Of the 92 trillion global GDP, 127 billion is contributed by semiconductor foundries. And there are only five companies at scale in this space. And three of them are in China and Taiwan. In 2009, when Global Foundries was created, it was created with the sole thesis that world needs an alternative in semiconductor compared to Taiwan. And in 2018, we went through a transformation, pivoting our strategy to focus on pervasive semiconductor market. And in 2021, we went public, and our journey to 2030 is focused on providing feature-rich semiconductor solution to our end customer. We are changing the industry that's changing the world. In 2022, our revenue was $8 billion. We have 200 plus customers across the world, and we are 13,000 employees strong. Now, with our goal to establish a global footprint, now we have fabrication units, manufacturing units, across three continents, two in North America, two in Singapore, and one in Germany. When we started our journey of data lake transformation, we were in the similar spot many of you guys might have gone through or is still facing. We had disparate siloed data sources, which makes it impossible for our applications and capabilities to be transferred across our manufacturing unit. And many of these applications and data infrastructure was residing in legacy platforms, which needed significant CapEx investment for us to upgrade. And even with that upgrade, we were very clear that it would not pave us the path to our 2030 journey. So we embarked on the data lake transformation. Imagine, if you will, a culinary masterpiece. What makes it exceptional? It's the precise measurement of the key ingredients, the seamless integration of flavors, and the meticulous attention to details. Similarly, in semiconductor manufacturing, the ingredient, the key ingredient is the vast amount of data that we generate in every process step. And the success lies in harnessing this data, enriching it with the right context, and extracting insights, a major feat that's only possible with the major adoption of data lake. That realization got us to first focus on architect to modernize our data and analytic platform together. Establish a unified 1GF data schema across all of the fabs, irrespective of the products that we manufacture. And to make that all happen, we had to select the right partners, and that's where we selected AWS. And to sustain it, we need to have the internal skills. So we embarked on a journey of upskilling our internal resource, and building a center of excellence together with our partner for long run. And for long run, we need to ensure that we have governance model that's built and implement a target operating model upfront defined. With that, we got into defining the target architecture. This is dedicated for my technical team. A well-organized kitchen ensures that every ingredient is readily available when needed. Similarly, in a data lake, it has to ensure the relevant information is at fingertip, ready to be analyzed and utilized to enhance that decision-making process. This accessibility is the cornerstone of agility in responding to the market trend. This realization helped us to architect our data lake for our future needs, for enabling our 2030 vision. At this stage, for Data Lake, we do push the data from multiple sources from our on-prem and various systems. That includes our manufacturing execution system, tools, tool data, sensor data, our engineering data, which are the measurement of our product to ensure the right quality is met, and that's also augmented with our enterprise data, which is very crucial for supply chain planning. All of this data we push into, the, into AWS, through, through various technology stacks. But in the AWS zone, we use native AWS products as much as possible. And it goes through row zone, curated, and aggregated. 
In the aggregated zone, we use Redshift as our backend. Most of our BI tools and pre-canned analytic solutions leverages the data from Redshift. And there are data types that doesn't belong to an OLAP environment like Redshift, but is still needed for our analytics use case. But we, let, we are able to let the data belong to where it belongs and seamlessly access it leveraging Spectrum and Athena framework. This enables the users to seamlessly access the data and not worry about where my data sits. And in order to make all this happen, all the data need to be properly discovered and governed. And we leverage, we are in the process of extending that with Glue and Data Zone. Moreover, just as a gourmet dish that evolves in every iteration, the semiconductor manufacturing process benefits from continuous improvement. Data Lake empowers us to apply advanced analytics, machine learning, and AI to uncover patterns, optimize process, and predict future trends. Like the previous slide, which was dedicated for my technical team, this is dedicated for my business users, who always ask, so what? You have a great architecture, you have built a great data lake, so what? What does it mean for business? That's what this is all about. This shows us earlier, we were not able to compare our tool data to identify which tool performs the best in class across all the fab units. And that was just not possible with our on-prem infrastructure due to the sheer power of infrastructure that is needed. Now with the data lake, we are able to compare the tool performance across all the fabs compared to the best in class and identify what's causing the white space in the tools. Semiconductor manufacturing process is a complex one, but for simplicity's sake, let's compare it to baking a cake. The difference here is it takes three months to bake this cake. So every day, every hour, as it goes through multiple process, the recipe needs to be followed exactly the correct. And there are many factors that could affect the quality of those products. And earlier, we had to spend a lot of semi-automated, but a lot of manual effort to identify defect patterns and identify what's causing that defect. And engineers were spending more than 12 hours classifying those images, which are really hard to identify in this way first. And now, with the data lake powered with machine learning, we are able to do image classification. Now that same task we are able to accomplish in less than three minutes. Another use case is predictive maintenance. In semiconductor, the heavy capex investment is involved in tools, in buying tools. So any time when a tool is taken down for maintenance, that's a significant drain on productivity. And now with data lake and machine learning, we are able to go in the direction of predictive maintenance. Earlier it was mostly based off consumption based and time-based, whether you need maintenance or not, in this time you have to do the maintenance. Now we are able to leverage predictive maintenance and extend the tool life. That means more products and planning better for the maintenance activity. So what's next? We have built architecture, we are able to generate the business value, but what's next? The MLOps framework, what we have built over time, or more than a year, now we are able to extend that for our Gen AI use case. Build the right guardrails and build the COE around enabling Gen AI use cases. We have the data, we have the machine learning ops structure in place, and now we are boldly getting into the Gen AI world. And we are very sure we can make ML use cases more ubiquitous across all of the business, not just in the core manufacturing. And we are in the process of building our data products, data and analytic products that not only makes the life of engineers easy in the company, but also enables our external customers who can leverage this value. Just as a chef's creativity knows no bound when armed with a well-stocked kitchen, semiconductor industry can push the boundaries of innovation with the arsenal of insight unlocked by Data Lake powered by AWS Cloud. 